Superior is a typical New County sports and collectible show hosted by Rail Splitters Authentics. And here's who we have for the autographs today. A lot of former Purdue players, basketball, football, a couple of professional ex-baseball players that went to local high schools here. And one of my favorites is Stu Schweiger. He played for the Detroit Lions, my team. So let's give it a go and see what we got going on. Like I said, it's a lot of collectibles. There were some cards around. But yeah, definitely a lot of collectibles. Here, Here we go, some more Purdue stuff. There's some cards. I've already went through there and got me a couple of old ABA cards. Look at these guys. They're hard at work. How's it going, fellas? All right. You can't get a hat better than that. It's right there. Here we go on. Here's some more cards. Here's some more memorabilia. There's some cards. A lot of newer stuff. But that's all right. Uh, here's, some, here's some classic stuff. There's some older stuff right there. That's not too bad. But yeah, like I mentioned, it's mainly a lot of collectibles. There's some dollar boxes, 50 cent boxes. And over there is old Stu Schweigert from the Lions. Brian Cardinal right there, former Purdue player. The janitor. Here's some more stuff. Old Reggie Jackson. Here's some more cards. Like I mentioned, a lot of Purdue stuff. Oh, the old style jersey. I like that. Some old magazines. I don't know if you can hear me real well. A box of random cards that I've already went through, and I'll show you what I have either at the end of this video or a follow up video. Here's some good stuff. Sorry. Here we'll go down this way. Here's some more produced stuff. Pretty awesome. Oh, there's a fellow Detroit Lions fan. I didn't try to call Don't believe anything. I didn't know, like, football, vintage, and modern. I've already went through this table. They had some good stuff I picked up. Over here, some more cool things. Like I said, a lot of memorabilia here. A lot of memorabilia. But they all have, they all seem real friendly and uh, making deals. It's a good little card show. Here's some more Purdue stuff. Some Wheaties boxes. Some bobbleheads. St. Louis Cardinals fan, but we'll forgive that. I did swing over here and I grabbed a couple things. As I said, I'll show you later, but I did get some stamps and he had some extra ones of them. So those are pretty cool. I have to figure out what years those are. So yeah, there's a lot of neat stuff here, but kind of more on the memorabilia side than the uh, collectible collecting cards and stuff like that. Here's some more cards. All right. Vintage and modern everywhere. Oh, this caught. Oh, sorry. Oh, this caught my eye. You're good. I got you. Man, I dropped some bats over. They're getting ready to kick me out. Nah. That's pretty cool. That's not gonna happen. Thanks, man. Yeah. So yeah, it's just not a super huge show, but not a small show, but more memorabilia than anything. But it's still pretty cool. Let's look at these again. Old school John Wooden bobblehead. Joe Barry Carroll. Some wrestling cards. There's the Hulkster. Some mixed finish and uh, modern 
football, baseball, a little bit of everything. I done went through some of these boxes, found a cool Esposito, cool Bill Esposito card that I'll show later. All right, well, there's my quick recap of the uh, what's selling around here at the Tiffany County Sports and Collectible Show. Again, hosted by Rail Splitters. So I'm going to let it go now and finish shopping up a little bit, and then I will show you in the later video what I hauled in today. All right, thanks a lot, everybody.